Hey there everybody, what's going on? This is uh, a guy named James, and this is part two of the Dark Souls walkthrough. Um, I'm basically just going to be going through this in terms of like things I want to do, so we're going to kind of make things easy. Alright, so let's begin. So last time I ended my playthrough at around here, I believe, uh, I was kind of messing with some stuff. I was just kind of testing some stuff out and I ended up dying, so this time we are going to go grab our shit back because everything works. I think what I want to do with this character is I want to like do everything that's like really heavy. Right now, I'm kind of getting ready. I have this other axe. <laughs> right now, what I'm doing is I'm trying to get ready to use a saw. Is Wylander? Is Wylander? Is Wyhander? And we are pretty close to it. We only need a couple more points of strength. So after we do that, we'll be able to use a bigger weapon. This is going to be more of a strength build than it is going to be like a, like, you know, like magic and all that. I just want this character to use heavier shit. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this. Oh, I did it. Fucking bam. <laughs> I think a lot of the characters, like a lot of people when they play this game, they always mess up where like they put their skill points as like everything, but really, if you just stick with some of the like bare essentials, you'll be pretty fine. Like if you just like put shit into strength, you'll be able to use like the heaviest weapons. Here, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be a heavy build. I thought that'd be fun. I, I think some of the weapons on, on here look really obnoxious, like you'll see what I'm talking about. Alright, that's over. <laughs> Whatever, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Some of the weapons on this game look fucking crazy. You'll see what I'm saying later. Oh, I love that so much. So this is a pretty cool boss over here. Yo, not a boss, it's more of a mini boss. It makes him interesting though. That guy. It makes this guy pretty interesting. Uh, oh shit! Okay, yeah, he does that. But he also, uh, he's also like really, his weakness is fire. So if you were a pyromancer, you'd be able to like, fuck him up pretty bad. I think if I have a fire bomb, to just throw him out. Let's do some damage. But if you're a pyromancer, you can just strip kill the guy. There's another way you can kill him. Let me see if I can do it real quick. Oh, I fucking suck. Oh, he jumped back. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. something to use use that way. Let's see. I'm not gonna ah, fucker. What a dickhead. He said, nah, I'm just gonna come back. Oh, fuck you. Alright. I think if I throw this right there. Come on. Oh, it works! That's awesome. I've never seen that before. I feel so smart. <laughs> See ya. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Alright. 
I've never seen that before. That's pretty cool. I'm happy I discovered that. Well, I'm sure other people are like, yeah, no fucking does, but like. Ah, he just dropped the helmet. Well, that sucks. He, he drops like a big helmet, like a big board of helmet. That would have been perfect for this character. Last video went up, and um, I don't think, like, oh man, I was, ugh, I can't believe how fucking nervous I was in that video. I was like, I was just sitting there, and I was just like, you know, I gotta do it. Like, if I release this, it won't be as, like, hard. <laughs> and I'm actually kind of feeling that way right now. Like, it's not, it actually isn't too bad right now. This is just like how I normally sound, this, my fucking voice. <laughs> Little, I got a pretty young, young, young sounding voice, but I'm actually pretty old. I'll leave that to you guys to discover how old I am. Maybe I'll reveal someday, but I feel too old. <laughs> so, yeah, this game came out. Gosh, I want to say this game came out like seven years ago. I feel fucking. I feel very old from that. It's insane. Time flies by. Right. Yeah, a part of the reason why this kind of trips me out, like playing this, is uh, it's just insane to me how easy I can just walk through it now. Way back in the day, I mean, everybody was was just having an issue getting past like the first part. Now it's now it's not. <laughs> Now it's not as bad. <laughs> That's all good. And now it's not as bad as it was before. But everybody had an issue with it. In the beginning. Walk behind him. You know what's going on? Nothing much. Got a basement key. I forgot where that went to. Somebody repaired this fucking bridge. Thank you for doing that. No railings though. <laughs> no, except to when you get down here. Oh, fuck you. Alright. So I'm gonna go level up right now. I think I can use a Zylander. Fuck yeah. I love the two hand weapons in this game, they're so crazy. You have like a giant warhammer and it's just like you know in real life, man, you have to fucking be a behemoth to even use that fucking thing. There we go. 
You see what I mean, though? Like, that is freaking retarded. <laughs> it's, it's so much fun, though. It looks so ridiculous. <laughs> they get even crazier. I think they even get fatter too. That's pretty cool. In terms of weapon designs, it's not too bad. Got the Zwyander. Let's see if it does. Oh yeah. Oh. Feel like the Hulk whenever you use it. God damn. Love that weapon. <laughs> oh shit. Come on. Damn. Dragons on top of there. I don't know if they're, they're dragons. I think they're golems. So I'm gonna do that. There's a stash around here. Yep, right there. Let's see. Maybe a roll there. There we go. There we go. That's a fun little secret right there. If you have a crack rider or what it does is it allows you to uh, to um, invade other players. But we're not playing online right now. I don't even think you could play this one online anymore. This one is uh, this is before the remaster came out. I don't even think you could buy the the original copy of that game, the remaster. The remaster doesn't really do anything. Like I don't I don't believe it does anything. So there were like so many people who were complaining about it because they didn't do shit. The remaster is like, it adds some things, but people were expecting it to add in like different types of textures and everything, and it just didn't do nothing. So I think other people just got like really pissed off off of it. Is there a fucking dude following me? There is! Unbelievable. Leave me alone. Oh, that feels so good. If you guys never done it before, you should have a heavy build in this game. It's so much fun. Let's see here. That's all I can do. I wonder, I could probably level this up before I, I fight these guys, so let's go do that. I fucking love this game. This game, man, it's, it's an abuser. It's a real abuser, man. You gotta, like, walk through the ring of pain before you can... You really start to kick ass. That and just, like, a, bunch, like, a, like a whole bunch of muscle memory. I beat Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2, but I never beat Dark Souls 3. I should've, because that game didn't seem too bad. I just didn't really like it. I didn't like that one for some reason, but the other ones I, I loved. Dark Souls 2 was... I, I kind of think Dark Souls 2 is a lot better than all three of them. Dark Souls 3 to me is just the worst. It's not bad, it's just not what I would prefer. But I understand that like other people just like, like it a lot more. There are a lot of different changes with it. I think... I don't know. I think it was kind of just weird. It just felt different. Kind of felt empty, I guess, is like what I'm trying to say. <laughs> 
And I never played Demon Souls. Never did. Oh boy. Let's see if I can upgrade the sword. Well, I'm on drain of a store run. If it requires anything. Still kill some people real quick, because I think I could I could re-level this up. Alright. I wanna get the sword up to like at least two before we go up there. You don't really need to, I just like having good equipment or like I like to feel superior. <laughs> I don't know. I like to have just shit ready. Oh my god, that feels awesome. Oh, ah, shit. oh you fucker. cool game like artistically this game is just I don't know it just feels full like full of life I do know they there are some things with the way they do the textures are, are kind of off I could actually show you one of them right away but yeah actually I can do it right now so you see these trees right here something that I never noticed until somebody pointed out to me but you, you notice that there's like a still frame like there's a picture so like when you remove they kind of just disappear, but then, you know what I mean? They're not real trees. <laughs> That's kind of funny. It's just like a, a, a side picture? It's like a 2D picture in a 3D game. And then it's gone. <laughs> I always enjoyed that. Like, people people talk about this game so highly, and then you got shit like that. And it's just like, yeah, you remember, well, remember the fake trees? I remember, I remember the fake trees. They were here. Alright, I'll get you. Now we can go and we can fight this guy. Well, it's not just the guy, it's two guys. And then we'll get to ring the bell. There's uh, two bells right now in the beginning part of this game. And in order to open up Sin's Fortress, which is down there, um, you have to uh, ring two bells before you can progress, so we're gonna go ring one of the bells right now. It's all the way up, all the way up there. And there's a boss fight. Uh, I, I think in terms of boss fights, I would rank this one as being kind of hard. When I play this, because it's two people you have to fight, I always have an issue in Dark Souls games where if you had to fight two bosses at the same time, it was always very difficult. Dance. Yeah, if you had to fight like two bosses, it was a fucking pain in the ass. Oh, shit. There I think this guy gives him more health. 
Guy doing his little troll dance. What's up, buddy? Where'd your friends go? That's right, the dead! <laughs> I feel pretty good about that. I'm so happy I got this weapon. I fucking love this weapon. Well, I, I, I love like anything that's just like super heavy. Oh shit. Oh, knocked him back. I didn't even hit him. Where did I? <laughs> yeah, yes I did. <laughs> So over here, there's a guy who's like, he's like locked in the, the closet over here. He's not, he's not in the closet, he's locked in the closet. Oh, then I am in luck. Could you help me? As you can see, I am stuck without recourse. Alright, I don't see a problem in that. Thank you. I am Knight Lautrec of Karim. This thing's I armor is fucking this. awesome. Let me see if I can show you. And I guarantee you a reward. Only later. Alright. Yeah, he's got like golden armor. That's actually really fucking cool. Let's see. I don't think there's anything over here. Nah. There's a dead guy in the barrel over there. Yeah, we get to experience the probably one of the hardest boss fights. At least if you're like a beginner at this game, I actually like it. Like it's it's pretty unique. Like it kind of shows you what to expect later. We'll get to that later too, because like later on you have to fight. You have to like fight um, a dude with a big hammer and a guy with a big spear. Can't remember the names. But yeah, if you if you got the thing like the soapstone from Solaire earlier, you could actually use. You can use him, like, his soapstone will appear right here and he'll help you out. So this is actually not online. Um, you can get other people online to help you. I forget how many people you can, like, max out on, but... Yeah, you can get this guy if you talk to him. He actually helps you out, I think, with uh, three or four other fights. He's really handy. Yeah, I think he helps you with the Gwyn fight, and then he helps you with the, the Sewer Dragon fight. And then he helps you with this fight, and then I think there's one more... One more after this. There's one I know of. 
it's the Servants of Chaos. If you use Humanity on that, you can increase your rank as you go along on that. But that's like not till way later. That's like just later on in the game. But yeah. later games will get a lot harder to well I think in the second game I think the second one was like very notorious just for like how often like because like when you would die it was just like a you would have to like fight through all the same shit but this but that, sh that shit was just like super strong so it was just fucking you up the whole time come on Slayer I think he has his own covenant too. The uh, then his thing, like his summon sign is different, but you could have the same summon sign. But I think you have to join a covenant with him. Actually, I don't know how you how you do that. get this guy. Come on, I just want to ring this bell. What? Fuck you. Oh, whatever. I basically just ran up here. Just doing one at a time. You know what? I don't even care. No, 
Oh, you got Slayer! You bastard. Oh, man, that hurt me good, though. There we go. Hell yeah! Let's go ring this fucking bell. Souls, I love that. I love it. It's a weird looking church. Look at that. It's kind of strange that, like, they didn't want to design stairs, so they just have this one ladder. There's like nothing in the rooms either. <laughs> we're gonna construct this whole thing, but I wonder what. <laughs> we're not gonna use any, any, any of the levels, we're just gonna use it for the fucking bell. Like, alright. All right. Well, that was fun. I didn't expect. I didn't expect for that fight to give me as much trouble as it actually did. So I <laughs> now I'm kind of feeling a little stupid. I'm not like I'm. I'm really not perfect at this game. I I'm really good at it. I'll say this because I played so much of it. But I think I just got my ass kicked as well. What's up? Greeting. We're looking. I am that. Oswald of Kerry, the Pope. Thou art a friend. For thee, a warm welcome. Cometh thou to confess what your king. So what's cool about this guy, I guess you can, so if you're, there's a thing in this, there's a system in this game, <laughs> there's a system in this game called like guilt, and basically if you kill, like if you murder other characters in the game, then your character becomes more guilty, so you can, I guess, request absolution from that, so you don't have to do that, but I guess you could also abandon the covenant you're in. But he also sells a bunch of other things. Um, you can be cursed in this game, so you need these surging stones to like uncurse yourself. And some of the other other things of this is um, you have the book of the guilty, which is like just players who are super guilty or like really I don't know, like they fucked up. <laughs> and I forget what this one is. But that's pretty cool. But I mean, other than that, he sells a miracle. Talisman and some rings. I think he. I don't know. No, he's only got one ring of sacrifice. That sucks. No, I will right. He'll stay there for the rest of the game. Actually, really unique. Yeah, I guess if you really don't look, there's like. It really is just a whole lot of nothing over there. There's not much to this world. It is a world, though. Oh, fuck. You... <laughs> hey, you killed Dave! <laughs> fuck you. Alright. I think we're done for now. Um, I want to say, like, next time when I... Like, next time I do something, I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to go to Blight Town right now. Right now. That's right. Blight Town. Blight Town. Oh, yeah. All right. I know where I'm going. <laughs> I'm all mixed up. All right. So Blight Town, you have to go through. Uh, you have to go through like a little area. You have to go through the basement before you can. You can go through there. Or it's not the basement. It's like a different. It's a different place. We're just gonna run through it real quick. So we got our stuff. Let's try this again. There we go. Oh, I hate that. Right. So we're gonna go down to this. Well, actually, I think what I want to do, I want to go down to. Uh, this little shortcut down here. Because right around down here, or well, not down here, but there's a little area 
or just like a little shortcut to the place. So you can use it. You can use the same key. I got a key from a chest over there, so I think I could use that key to uh, progress into here. so mixed up from this thing like I used to be so good at this and now I'm not I think you can probably fight that right now do I try it though like do I attempt let's see come on come on down oh you still hit me from that Maybe I should just. <laughs> That's fucking terrifying. Good shit. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, no! Alright. I just gotta get. I gotta get to the safe place. There we go. So that's the basement key right there. I think what I want to do is just try to try to condense this down to like where I fight those guys, and then I come over here and then I I just do this over here. But I don't know if like I want to like if I want to cut that out or if I want to just keep all of this in. I think I should probably cut most of it out. I think I can open up the shortcut up here. Let's see. I think it opens up. Yep. Alright, I think I'm gonna end that right there, actually. Yeah, I think I'm gonna continue this later, and then I'm just gonna edit this, or I'm gonna attempt to. Before we do it, we're going to go back to being human. And then we are going to level up. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna put one strength. Uh, at least 700 in vitality. There we go. I feel pretty good about that. Um, we'll see how this continues further on, but I actually had a lot. I had a much better time now, like doing this right now, than I did last time. Last time I was just really fucking nervous. Now, like this time, I think I kind of felt my groove a bit. So, that was part two, and I'll see you guys in part three. Thank you so much.